Happy Friday, Millbrook. How many of you remember way back at the beginning of Lent when Pastor Christie preached a message about the wilderness? Jesus was on his way into the wilderness after being baptized to be tempted for 40 days and 40 nights. Christie then posed the question to all of you, what does the wilderness look like in your life? We then pulled out our smartphones and we typed in our answers and our answers were then projected onto the screens in the sanctuary and in the prior Bradford. And we saw a glimpse of what each of us are facing and walking through. Words like depression and anxiety, addiction, grief, loss filled the screen. Realizing how diverse and vast the wilderness can be, even present in our own congregation, but also realizing just how underlying this wilderness concept is for all of us. There are times in our lives where each of us have been wandering through the wilderness. But one word struck me as particularly profound in this exercise. Someone shared the word loneliness. The wilderness is lonely. It can be so easy to feel alone when you're wandering through a wilderness, not knowing how long you will be there. Even coming to church when you feel any of those symptoms or ver versions or visions of wilderness in your life, coming to church can feel vulnerable. It can make you feel exposed. Some of us come to church and we put on a brave face and others don't. There's no right or wrong way to show up. But that feeling of being surrounded by people and still feeling alone can be so isolating. You see, we don't know what people carry with them when they come into worship or even when they stand in line at the grocery store or at the bank teller. The people we encounter all around us, sometimes we don't see or know the wilderness that they're battling within. I tell you this to say, as we pray for each other, as we share prayer requests, and as we encourage each other here at church, you never know the impact that can have on somebody. This summer, I was going through a lot of transitions, right? I was moving, I was taking on extra responsibilities during Pastor Christie's leave, and I also had some changes in my own personal life. And yes, sometimes even pastors wander through the wilderness. Sometimes even pastors show up to church or to the grocery store, and we too feel alone because that's the nature of being in the wilderness. And one Sunday, this summer, I drove to church and I said, God, I wish I just didn't have to feel alone today. And God heard my prayer. And that morning I was met in my office by someone who just walked by and said, Pastor Grayson, i had been praying for you this week. You're doing so much. In fact, the Holy Spirit tells me I need to pray for you right now. And before I could even say anything or object or thank them, they were praying over me. And I cried right there in my office because I wasn't alone. Later that same day, as we shared prayer requests with our church, someone lifted up a prayer for me. And they said, I want us to pray for Pastor Grayson and remind her that she's not alone and she has this whole church community behind her. He said the word alone. Nobody at church knew I was having a bad day but your words of encouragement and prayer uplifted me in ways you don't understand. I'm so grateful. And I don't share this story to be mysterious or to make you wonder what thing or what was going on in my life that made me feel this way, but I share this with you so that you know the depth and power of this Christian community that when people come to this space, Sometimes we show up broken. Sometimes we show up when we don't want to. So when God lays it on your heart to be in prayer for somebody, tell them. Let them know. Remind each other with your words and actions that you're thinking of each other, remembering each other, whether they're in a wilderness you know or a wilderness unknown to anyone. May we all feel a sense of connectivity, of community, so that no one among us has to feel truly alone.